Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that I played in the last week. Now here I was playing as white, I was playing a much stronger rating opponent as well. Uh, and we started off uh, with d4, uh, opponent response with f5. And I here played a bishop to g5, trying to make sure that uh, playing e6 is very unlikely next because the queen hangs. Uh, so that was the idea of playing bishop g5. Open plays h6, trying to kick my bishop backwards. Bishop goes to h4. And now comes g5, trying to kick my bishop backwards. Bishop now comes to uh, g3. And if you're thinking that the open can trap my uh, bishop here, you are not right. Because after a move like this, uh, which is uh, f4, trapping my bishop, I simply have a move e3. Now, what e3 does is if you try and take the bishop and be too greedy, you can be checkmated in the next move. So that was the idea. Uh, you're not trapped, able to trap the bishop. Uh, so there, uh, after knight delapsed on to f6, I went with bishop e5. Now, before we continue with this game further, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. Here, after bishop e5, open plays bishop g7, trying to make sure the knight can be removed in the next move and bishops can be exchanged as well. Uh, here, I played e3 so that knight now cannot go on to h5 because if knight h5 trying to exchange the bishops, I can take the knight straight away. So this uh, square is also now controlled with the queen. Here are my open castles. And I develop the bishop to c4 uh, and open sidesteps the king onto h8. Now I started attacking from the king side by placing h3 with the ideas of maybe pushing uh, g4 next. My opponent, however, plays uh, d6 trying to finalize my bishop's next move, which is either to bring back or take on the knight. So I took on the knight because the knight can be tricky once it comes on to e4. Uh, so that can be a pain. Uh, knight e4 would be tough to be displaced from there. Also, once I take the knight somewhere, if I try and exchange the knights, opponent will take back with the pawn, opening up the f file. And that can be nasty once queen and rook are lined up on the f2. So you don't want to uh, break things open up there. So I took on the... Uh, Sorry, I'll just close the WhatsApp notification for a second. Yeah, so there I took on uh, the knight and often takes back with the bishop. And then c3 was played by me, uh, trying to solidify the center. Open goes for queen e8, preparing to play e5 next and break open the center. I went with knight d2, open goes for e5. And I took here, open takes back with the pawn. And then I just placed my queen onto c2. Uh, I'm not hitting the spawn. I am not bothered what my opponent does next. I'm going to castle on the queen side and have a good position. I'll develop my other knight as well, get my rooks lined up, and that looks good because the king side pawns of my opponent are weak already. Here my opponent plays e4. I castle queen side, opponent develops the knight to c6, and I went with knight b3, trying to get my knight on to d4 for the, uh, later on in the game. Also opening up the file for the rook. Now, bishop to e6, trying to exchange the light square bishops. And since my opponent wanted to exchange, I denied and pinned the knight there. Opponent plays a6. Now, again, I can bring my bishop backwards onto uh, e2. But then uh, my bishop won't be doing much in the game because, yes, the diagonal is there. But I can't really go to h5 because of the queen standing. Uh, the other squares are very unlikely that my bishop can be utilized down. So I thought rather take the knight because the knight also can uh, again become tricky once it comes from e5 uh, to d3, giving me a check and con that would be a very good controlling square. Closes my rook's file. My queen is kind of not very mobile there. So not letting the knight come over eventually. I took on the knight. Opponent takes back with the queen. Uh, here I went with a knight to d4, uh, hoping that my opponent can take. And this bishop pair can be, uh, I can get rid of the bishop pair, which can be tricky in the end game. Uh, Open denies that and places queen onto uh, d5. Eyeing this diagonal, maybe willing to exchange queens after I replace the knight. Uh, so I took on the bishop myself. Open takes back with the queen. And then a simple move, king to b1, uh, saving my pawn on a2. 
open offers me rook exchange now here uh, it's an instructive moment i can simply take on the rook but what happens is i lose the control of the open file after my open takes so suddenly the control of the open file goes to the black side now because my rook is no longer there and that's why the evaluation if you saw changed uh, from plus 0.5 odd to in the favor of uh, my opponent here so never give uh, control of the open file to your opponent rather try and maintain it now what's the way around so i develop my knight on to e2 because now if my opponent takes i uh, sorry of, uh, of course opponent won't hang the rook but take and i take back now i retain the control of the open file yes my opponent can offer me rook exchange again this time i can take because only bishop can take this and the open file still belongs uh, to white maybe uh, it can simply by placing my queen here and that would be decent enough but instead in the game uh, after i played a knight to e2 opponent plays b5 trying to expand on the uh, queen side trying to attack my uh, my king where it is castled i went with a knight to d4 uh, hoping the bishop's bishop and knight can be exchanged uh, also it's a central controlling square hitting the queen and the pawn and if you don't take my knight i would jump into the future on to any of these squares so knight is pretty good there opponent decided to take and after opponent takes now i take with the rook the idea is to double up the rooks next uh, and create pressure in the open file uh, if opponent takes i can take back with uh, the pawn so there's nothing to be worried about so i went with rook takes on d4 open tries to kick my rook back and that's what happens i go with rook to d2 still hoping that i can line up the rooks open understands that and tries to defend the rook as well so that now if exchange happens opponent has the majority of the open file uh, as much as you can take control of the open file it's important and that's what i try to do continuously uh, now rook to d1 uh, trying to pressurize further opponent had to take here and after i take back i have got the control of the open file completely now you cannot get your rook here uh, otherwise i win a piece after the exchange happens so i have got the control of the open file which means now my queen uh, can also come down exchange queens and uh, it's up to me how i want to proceed with this game from here on and if you see white is advantageous because of this control of the open file so it's so important in games uh, that you take control of the open file and utilize it to the maximum uh, here after rook comes on to e7 e8 uh, i decided to try and exchange queens and this was a good move uh, where i want to exchange queens from i can go to uh, d7 as well but then queen can simply take i can take back with the rook uh, yes my rook is in the open file but not doing much as well uh, i'm not letting my opponent come here but what what i'm doing on the seventh rank is something which is doubtful you're not hitting any pawns as well whereas when i keep my queen on to d6 it's more forcing for my opponent now uh, the point is i'm hitting a pawn i'm hitting a queen and i'm hitting another pawn and so if three things are attacked you cannot save everything so that's the whole point opponent tries to come in in the way of the queen trying to save the pawn also save this pawn but then the other pawn was hanging <laughs> and that's what happens i take another pawn here and after rook comes to e7 there's another beautiful thing uh, which you can do when you're you have control of the open file rook to d6 now it is almost game over because uh, you will win this pawn if the queen is moved away uh, a checkmating pattern can anytime occur from here uh, i have all the control if queen goes somewhere else somewhere wrong square then the rook can also be hanging after a check so anything from here is kind of winning you are attacking pawns you're attacking the queen if queens are exchanged here i'm more than happy to exchange now because after opponent takes i'm going to get a couple of pawns extra from both the sides and that's quite decisive of an advantage 4.5 in the game is good enough to win this end game easily with the majority of pawns uh, on my side of the board so uh, this was clinical i would say trying to make sure that you get the control of the open file and then actually using it in an advantageous way making sure that you convert that position sometimes we see the idea but we don't we are not able to convert it into a winning position now this was one of the games where i saw the idea and i hit it right to convert it into a winning position against a stronger rated opponent